What's up guys, it's Smoshy from youtube.com forward slash Smoshy and twitter.com forward slash xsmoshy and today I'm going to show you how to get PUBG Mobile working on PC. Now you might have seen a few of these videos and you probably even know how, but I'm here to talk about a particular emulator that runs the game fantastically. It's called Momo Player. Yeah, you probably never heard of it. I haven't heard of it up until about a week ago, but it's amazing and it's made by some Chinese developers. But it does offer an English version, so fantastic. Let's get started. To download Momo Player, you want to go to momoplayer.com. And this little thing up here, this button right here will begin the download. So you click that. It'll download something, I don't know the size of it. Once it's done, you open it up. Might be a little confusing because it's in Chinese, but find the next button and navigate through that until it installs, and then you can open it. Once you open it, all of this will probably be in Chinese. So to get it to English, you're gonna go up to the top right and click these three lines to bring up the menu, and click on the second one, which should be Settings. Once you're on this page, you want to go over to the third tab on the left, which is Properties. Cancel that. You want to go to Advanced, which is the second tab on the left. All the way at the bottom is the Language. Bring the drop down and choose the fourth choice, which is English. Click Save and it will ask you to restart. Restart and that's it. Speaking of Momo Player, it loads much faster than those other emulators I've noticed. After it restarts, you may see the PUBG picture down here. It will be this picture right here. If you don't see it at the bottom, click any of these pictures to bring up the store. It's a little weird because it's in Chinese, but just click the back arrow up at the top. This will take you to the front page of the store. On the front page, you should see PUBG Mobile along with the Timmy version. But the one we want is this one. So click on it. And this up here should be a different color. I'm not quite sure which color it will be. So before you start the game, you want to go back up to the settings menu. And click on advanced. On the screen, you're going to want to set the settings according to your hardware specs. So if you have a quad core processor, you should probably set it to four cores. It does recommend two. I don't know why, but after testing it, there's no difference between four and two. I get the same performance. And for the RAM, if you have eight gigabytes or more, maybe 4,096, which is four gigs. Uh, once again, it recommends two, but I just set it to the max because why not? And you can also set your microphone if you plan on using it. After doing so, click save and it will ask you to restart. And here's a good example of just how fast this thing loads. All right, once all of that is set, you can open the game. And what's great about this program, it has predefined key bindings. Some of them are great, some of them are pretty bad, and you can actually change them by going to the right side over here and clicking the little keyboard thing and you can click each one to change it. So, for example, this one, which was default control, I changed it to my mouse button, which is bound to right bracket. And once you change all the ones you want to change, you can just go up to the top and click save and exit. There is one important thing I did forget to mention. You're going to need the QQ app. Now, I'm not sure if it's on their store, so you might have to go to Google and and search for the QQ APK. After it's downloaded, you can go into Momo Player and find this little button over here on the right. It has APK written on it. You'll click it and you'll navigate to your download folder or wherever your download folder is set on your version of Windows and just find the APK and open it. After it's installed, you should open it. To register, go to Google, search for the QQ registration form. So after you've logged in, everything should be set up. Open up PUBG Mobile. 
and click the little QQ thing. So you'll get a few boxes, just click the little big yellow button and you should be good. Now I don't have it enabled and I should have had it enabled, but I am getting 30 FPS, which is currently the max on the game. In game, I get around 25 to 30 with the occasional drops to 20. But as far as aiming goes, it's perfect. It feels great. And you can even go into the settings to change all that. This first one is unarmed. And then it goes down to two times, four times, eight times. And I don't know what this one is. Uh, that might be the... That might be how you search around you by holding alt, which is defaulted in the key bindings. So mess around with those to figure out the perfect sensitivity. I'm using 2000 DPI on a 1920 by 1080 screen. So this just feels good to me. The second tab is the graphics tab. There's a lot of controversy right now about what these settings mean. Some say this is 30 FPS, 60 FPS, and unlimited. But in my testing, I found out that this one is actually 20 FPS, the middle one is 25 FPS, and this third one is 30 FPS. These down here range from low, medium, high, and ultra. Currently high is the highest you can get. This third tab is post-processing. This is none. This is classic. Uh, this is bright, I think. And this is realistic. And that's basically all you need to know. I'm not going to go into what everything else is. If you want to find that stuff out, there's a lot of translation videos out there. So go check it out. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And I'll do my best to answer them. So until next time, guys, have fun out there. Stay safe. And don't forget the rules of Serviva.